Hello, Junkaholics. Yesterday, I can tell you, I was defeated. I was sore, still sore, and discouraged. But I posted that video, and you guys gave me a new fire. I got some great advice um, on how to tackle the 9,000 pound generator and the words of encouragement have just lit a fire under my bum. So thank you all for everything and today we're going to work on this once again. So one of the pieces of advice I got was to lift that nose of this thing. Then I should be able to pry it out. I've already separated the bearing. That was from yanking it with the truck. So that shouldn't hold it anymore. And uh, just lift that, get it over because I think it's locked. And that's why we went and got this engine lift and Tyler, my buddy, lent me the sledgehammer and my puny little crowbar should do the trick. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Keep liking, sharing. Hey, it's been fantastic. This series has really gotten some overwhelming response. reposition change the bolts to the back and bolt it into the front now we're gonna lift That is off. I would say that it's a, a success. So now I got this off and look at those nice coil packs. That is some chunky stuff. Anyways, now we're going to be removing this collar and um, let me see. Yeah, we're going to remove this collar now. And then we should be able to pull that armature out. So I'm just going to rig up and I'll be back. Okay, so we're all rigged up. Wish me luck. And uh, you see me laying on the uh, 
concrete in pain and agony, maybe call 911. It would be really nice if you did that. The problem is, is that. So, I'm thinking that I have to somehow take that motor off. So, spray the deep creep and uncover these snap rings. It's just covered in crud, so I cleaned it all up. So I'm just gonna use my snap ring pliers and spread those open, pull them out. So we got the um, snap ring off. Now we're gonna try, hopefully it's more successful than last week's. Well, I would call that a success. So, look at all that goodness. That's crazy. Look at how thick that is, guys. Look at inside here. This is off. I think this has been a very successful day because now that means we can start picking copper. So all the bolts are removed. I'm thinking there must be a flange. So we're gonna give it a couple love taps and see if we can get it to go straight down. Start off with a small hammer. got the collar off and it jammed underneath that armature and I couldn't get it apart so I decided hey why don't I lift them both and I'm surprised it did um, I just need to block this up now and um, then I can let go some pressure get rid of that ring and then maybe swing the tail of the armature over i don't know um if you guys know of a better way make sure to bleep blop in the comments and yeah got the collar moved let's move this armature now. So meanwhile in Canada, we were going to get back to work on this project, but I guess there's just a little too much ice and sugar on the ground to be doing that. So we're going to head to the shop because I did put the bonus motor 
in the uh, in the shop last night before the snow started. So let's get that ripping that apart. I'll tell you, it's colder than my ex-wife's heart out here. So, it's easy, easy in the shop. So, we're in the shop, and this is what we're going to take apart. Um, I'm going to try and do it without any cutting. You've heard it here first, without cutting. Um, Scrap It All had a video that kind of made me think of this and this one coming out I broke this thing so that's telling me man that looks like fiberglass so I'm thinking if I'm going to bust all these out and I could do it with my air chisel but I just don't feel like dragging it out I'm fat and lazy so um, I'm just going to bust those out I'll do a, a couple on screen and then I'll take the rest the rest of the fiberglass things out and then I, I'll be bringing you back. And just so you know, uh, when I ask a question on, on YouTube, I really do want to hear your answers. No matter if you think they're stupid or not, I want to hear them. And last week I asked a question on how you guys would have done it. Hey, and I got some incredible responses. So, I decided, hey, how about if I re reward the person that has the best response on how I got it accomplished, or closest to how I got it accomplished. So, um, I just wanted to say thank you very much, uh, I think his name is Chuck Gentles uh, from CNS Mining. And correct, I'm sorry if I'm wrong on the name, but I'm sure it's Chuck Gentle from CNS Mining. I will, uh, if you want to get a hold of me and uh, give me your address, it's nicejunk666 at gmail.com. Get a hold of me. Give me your address and I'll send you off some nice junk stickers. So, congratulations, Chuck. So, on with the show. So, I turned it flat on the bench just so it's better for leverage and it won't roll away this way. After all, we're not reinventing the wheel. Ah, uh, it's not funny. Okay, so got a flat screwdriver. Just gonna pound it down. That one's out. So what I'm going to do is we're going to try and get one out, but I'm going to remove three of these things just so we have some wiggle room. Oops, magnet sticking. I guess that's what magnets do. Good old pry. Okay, that one didn't come out as nice as the first one. But it is wiggling out. That's out. Then, I'm gonna, that's what I didn't do last time. I 
And see, by getting rid of this, it's going to make it a little loosey in the goosey. There we go. Just show it the hammer gets scared. Not scared enough. Now, let's see. I don't know if this is going to work, but it's really hoping it would. Okay, so it's now we got to. Thinking if I can get the one out, then the other should be easier to get out because they don't have a face. So maybe what I'll do is I'll cut the first one. How about if we just try and get it out? A little at a time. Do that. This thing is just so glued in. Of course, you missed all that. Um, I tried the crowbar, it didn't work. So what I did is I put one incision here, cut this, and now I'm going to flip it up on its edge. So I'll be right back. So I'm gonna try unwind this one. It might make the others easier to come out. Usually isn't the way with these things, it's, you need a little bit of space. And of course there's tapes and stuff getting in the way that's covered in glue. So, like I say, if I can get So maybe that's the question of the day. How would you guys have done this? Like I say, this is welded to the inner core. Can you guys see? I want to make sure you guys can see. There we go. I think that's better. So I'm new to this big motor stuff, so like I say, I'm just an idiot. See those threads and stuff, eh? 
You wouldn't think they would hold on too much, but they do. Stuck together. What I've decided to do is use the air chisel. Um, not playing around with this anymore. Um, I'm just gonna go nuts with the air chisel. So you're gonna have to put up with some uh, time warp and really cheesy YouTube sanctioned music. And we'll get this thing done. Uh -huh. There we go. That's nice. Oh, that's a nice chunk. Woo! That was a workout. So, um, what's the chances you think? So we did this one that one and that one um what's the chances of getting this one out in one piece so I have run out of time for f filming. I have to edit this video and it's got to be out tomorrow. So it's been a challenging week. I've got a fever. Yeah, I, I got the flu and I've been working out here with a fever and it's just been brutal. Not really. I took most of the week off because I was really, really sick at one point. And and then we had the bad weather, right? Nobody expected 75 feet of snow outside. And uh, so this is taking longer than I thought it would. Make sure to bleep bloop in the comments.
how you would take it out and if I use your suggestion next week um, and it's successful I'll turn around and send you some nice junk stickers just like I did to, for Chuck there earlier um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode it's not the greatest one I know I'm sorry guys hey I'm new to all this big stuff so we're learning as we go uh, so, but that's still some pretty nice junk. Catch you all next week.